What's up? This is Big Weird 1.1. I'm about to put y'all on something real quick. I'm going to get to the point. Big Weird is like Ableton Live in a way. It kind of looked like it, but to me it looked better. But what I like about it the most compared to most dolls is that you can make a beat in so many ways. Matter of fact, we're going to talk about beats. We ain't going to talk about nothing else. We're going to talk about production, producing, you know what I'm saying, music, producer, whatever you want to call it. But get to the point. One way in live is called scenes. This is the way right here. This help you not forget ideas, man. Real shit. I'm going to let you know. If you use able to live, then you know what I'm talking about. But the sounds on here is way more warmer than me. Um, but you got these different squares right here. All these squares is ideas you can put in. Like, for example, like the first one right here, I got this sample in. My bad. Let me play this sample. This is a sample down here. This is a plain sample right here. I click this one. I can blend it in. And I'm gonna press this right here. So my point is what I can do, for example, let's say I got track one, and let's say track one is, no matter of fact, let's say uh, I got my drum kick. This is my drum kit right here. Right? All right. The first drum, the first square, what I can do, I can put anything in it. I can put a kick, kick in a snare, whatever I want to put in it. Play it a certain way. Then the second square, then I can play the drums in a different way. The third square, I can play the drums in a whole, another different way. Then I can do this with every track that I add. Now, once I add these tracks, all I have to do is go to the scene and press the scene. It's going to play all the ones that's lined up next to each other. You know what I'm saying? Now, what, ha what happens, it gives you an idea of how you can format your song out on your arranger. See how you see all this right here set up like this? This is the arranger. Like, really, I don't need none of this right now. I can take all this off. But what I do, I'm going to get to this part later. Hold on. Let me take this off. This is my arranger. This is the basic sequence of what everybody uses in the world, Pro Tools, whatever software you want to use. This is all. This is the old school original way. Now, this is my mix away. So now, if I want to record my idea right here that I created, or if I don't have an idea and I want to come up with something real quick, I can just play with these and I can record it to my arranger. And how I do that, what I do. Hold on, let me see something right quick. Let me try. Let me try range up here. Then at the bottom, I'm going to put the mixer. Hold up, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna take that off. Nah. Right, let me switch it. I'm gonna switch it. Let the mixer be the first part. Then I'm gonna let this be. But anyway. What I'm going to do, I'm going to press record. Take that back. Let me go back. I made a mistake on something. My bad. See, it's recorded already. See, but I'm going to raise that. All right, I'm going to go to mixer. Mixer. Recording right here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm about to switch it. This is my automation right here. Now I'm going to stop it, right? I'm going to go back to Arranger. Now you see everything I just recorded, I was playing with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and just play this. Now, as a matter of fact, I take that back. I have, to switch, I have to press this button. So when I press this button, it turns this Arranger on. Now I press play.
You see what I'm saying? So the whole point of the idea is that when you sometimes when you making a beat, man, you don't you don't know how you some people when they're using a regular arranger like this. Once you got your whole foundation of your beat, right? Once you got your whole foundation of your beat. Hmm. Once you got the whole foundation of your beat, right? What you gotta do? You gotta sit here and put everything on here at one time. You gotta square everything up. You, you gotta copy everything, paste everything down. Your bar, your hook, your loop, this and that. You gotta paste everything down. Then you gotta take something out or mute something just to hear how it sound, right? To get an idea how you gonna format your song out. See, but when you do it, the, when you do it the mix of this way right here, you already know what you're gonna do before you even format the shit out. You know what I'm saying? That's the whole idea. You can do how many sounds you want to do. But this is the trick. I'm going to show y'all something. You see this part down at the bottom right here? This is an automation. If you know about automation, that means it automatically do something for you that you wanted to do. Now, what I did, I wanted this to pan left and right. Everybody know automation. Yeah. But do you know about live automation, right? Before you even put it on your arranger. See, when you go to your arranger or your sequencer, you can already set your automation because you can click this button and do your automation down here on your track, whatever, make your track sound and move and go from left speaker, right speaker, or make it sound whatever you want, make it sound. Or you can use automation on any plugin that you got, right? That's cool. But now what if you, you don't know the idea you're trying to do, but what I did... Watch when you see this more. I'm going to just press play. Hold on. Let me let me activate this back. Let me go back right quick. Make sure. Something I gotta deactivate something. Hold up. Where is that? Yeah, this. Okay. So I press this. Now you see how that just moved left and right? That's live automation. If I press it again, it's gonna do the same thing. Every time I play it, it's already recorded in. So anytime I play it, it's going to repeat that, that step every time. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to know more about this program, hit me up and let me know. Subscribe me. Like, I'm still learning it, but, you know, I don't use every dog there, so it don't even matter. But this Humble P Drums. Follow me at Google Plus, Humble P Drums, or Instagram. Or just type in Humble P Drums. You, you, you'll find me. All right. Peace.